For Complex News, I'm Jinx. We spent some time down in Ferguson, Missouri following the shooting of Michael Brown. While out there, we reported on all the events taking place, from looting, to police mobilizing on civilians, to J. Cole visiting and showing his support for protesters. But one thing that seems to be heavily overshadowed is the amount of sound minds and positive people who took on roles of leadership in the small Missouri city. Some chose to clean up, others donated resources, and some just helped spread the word and keep the peace. Here's just a bit of the good that came out of the tough times in Ferguson. Okay, so I see you guys are out here cleaning up. Um, what, what made you guys kind of come out here and, and take initiative? There's a little bit of positivity, but a lot of negativity going on and like doing something, you know, even small as just picking up the trash from the looters. Like, you know, it comes a long way. I know very well that those looters are a very small percentage of the people that are out here uh, representing themselves. And unfortunately, people kind of get distracted by that. One of the main thing is confusion. Youth being um, uneducated, like they angry, they, you know, they want justice now. And it's, it's not enough people that's out here telling them like, okay, let's calm down, take a deep breath, let's step back and let's figure out a plan. Everybody's moving without a plan. So if you move without a plan of, of, of action, like it's just chaos. We have to be smart, we have to be strong and unite and show solidarity. We got a system that we live in, right? Mm -hmm. We got to show that system that we're organized, we're intelligent and we know what we're doing. The people that's been looting from Sunday on, like they're not a part of what's going on to help the Brown family and also to help this community. What are you out here doing today? Just helping out, helping to bold the place up. They did this last night. So we're building it up today, hoping it won't happen no more. And you guys are out here uh, projecting peace? The message to everybody, we want to non-violence in the world and peace to so peaceful in the world. I see you guys are giving out water and food and snacks. Um, what made you guys come out here today? Um, we came out here just to help support. We've been out here really since day one. Um, you know, protesters out here, they're out here long hours. They need stuff to drink eat, replenish themselves so that they can keep standing strong. What are your thoughts on seeing some of the uh, local police come out here and, and kind of join with the people? Well, I, I, I think that is great. As I walk down here, I see, I see all the police officers, that they are standing up along the sides and not in riot gear. Mm -hmm. That's giving people that's walking by them, they're speaking to each other, they're smiling. It's, it's just something that seems a little different. How do you feel seeing that the Quick Trip days later has become a point of, of, of positivity despite what it initially started out as? You know what? It's, it's, it's beautiful. It's be if it's a point of positivity, it's beautiful. I mean, it's, it's just awesome, the support and the interest that's happening because this movement is, is big. It's global, right? It is. And there's a lot of other issues that are associated with the tragic death of this kid, right? Completely. A lot of other issues. So America has to get it right. Look at the evidence, be transparent, and whatever the evidence reveals, be transparent and give it to the public. Regardless of what the, the media, no offense, might portray, regardless of what the naysayers out there might say, you can definitely turn a negative into a positive. And Mike Brown did not die without having people behind him. He will remain alive in the people's mind. QT. I mean, it's just a building. So for me, it's about us saying, hey, those buildings can be rebuilt. Businesses can be brought back into the community. But that boy is dead forever, and we cannot bring him back. It's unfortunate that it often takes negative circumstances for us to recognize all the good that people have to offer. But in the same breath, it's amazing to see that people are willing to stand tall when things go wrong. For Complex News, I'm Jinx. They had tanks and all type of dumb stuff out on us for what? We just people. You know what I'm saying? What are they doing? Why are they doing that, yo? As far as law enforcement agencies are concerned, you have to be and know the culture and know your people and the community that you're serving. 